Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is The Balancing Act, where I am a current intern in family medicine. Um, just talk to you guys about um, what I have going on, what rotations that I'm on, and how I'm juggling life um, in the midst of being a, a new resident. Uh, my name is Ijama, and I'm glad that you are here with me. It's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video last, and that's because um, when I changed from my pediatrics, to my OBGYN rotation that I'm on right now. Um, things escalated very quickly and my hours changed drastically. And this past weekend, I worked straight through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And so I just didn't have time to um, sit down and record. So right when I was just getting the hang of pediatrics and really feeling more confident um, in taking care of my patients, I switched to OBGYN. Uh, which is one of the most frustrating things about intern year as a family medicine resident is that you are doing all of these off-service rotations and just when you figure, feel like you're figuring it out um, with one specialty, you switch to another one. And so starting off OB was a huge learning curve just because my brain was so, you know, focused on pediatrics. So kind of starting back at the, at the beginning again and reading up on patients and trying to learn about um, their different um, um, criteria for certain things like gestational hypertension and preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, and when do you start medicine, when do you give them iron, when do you transfuse, when all of these different things, um, trying to learn the ropes um, and the mind of an OBGYN. Um, was um, challenging, but OBGYN has been great. The way it works for us is um, you, um, everybody does postpartum rounds in the morning and that's rounding on all of the women who recently, who, um, who had vaginal deliveries or C-sections um, overnight or um, who've been there for a day or two. Uh, we'll round on them. We will put in their discharge orders if they're ready to go home, make sure that all their medicines are sent to their pharmacy. Uh, we check on them to make sure their pain is well controlled. We um, feel their uterus to make sure that it's nice and firm. We do all these things in the morning and then we have checkout at 7 a.m. and that's when we would um, go through all of our postpartum women uh, and how they're doing, how they did overnight. And if they're ready to go home, we just present them to our attending and our chief resident. And then after that, we have a morning half day and then an afternoon half day um, of different roles. So you can be either board, you can be triage, or you can be on, in clinic. And so the board in turn manages all the postpartum patients throughout the day, follows up on those things that we talked about. And then um, we you also do all of the, you catch all the babies that are delivered during your shift. And then um, the triage interns is in triage, um, which is kind of like the OB emergency department um, where we, we do a lot of um, ruling out labor, making sure that women aren't going into preterm labor. Um, we um, have women who maybe have a lot of nausea and vomiting, um, abdominal pain, abdominal trauma, um, all sorts of things, vaginal bleeding. Uh, we just kind of triage all of those and you just, you're, you work them up, you kind of make the plan, put in the orders, um, write the notes. It's kind of how it goes. You um, you run every patient by the um, one of the um, advanced nurses that's there or um, your upper level residents. And then if you're in clinic, um, it's just um, an outpatient clinic where you're seeing um, routine OB patients who are there for their um, their um, regular visits. Being an off service resident, the patients that we see in clinic are lower risk. They're more routine. Um, some of them have some complications, but they're definitely not, um, they're, 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 they're able to be managed by someone who is like an intern and new to OB essentially. So they're not, they're not very complicated patients. Um, but I like that we are separated. So there's no, um, there's no, you're just, you're the only intern in that position um, that you're working in. Sometimes maybe there'll be two of us in clinic, but that's kind of it. So that's how it goes. Our days start at like five or 4.45 in the morning, rounding on all the patients. We check out at seven and then we um, do um, we do our regular stuff. And then usually we're done by six. 
Uh, average just kind of depends on what um, what you're doing clinic you can get done earlier sometimes if you're in triage you're there later as soon as I come home I shower eat sometimes I just eat on the way home shower and then I get in bed like I'm in bed by 8 30 9 o'clock um, because that's one thing that I don't mess around with that you will learn is that I don't mess around with my sleep. Um, even though I have to wake up very early, I just make sure that I go to bed very early so that I'm rested. Like I don't, I don't drink coffee. I don't really do a lot of energy stuff, energy drinks and stuff like that. I just make sure I get sleep. So last weekend I worked straight through. The weekend before that I had one day off um, and I had some friends come and visit me, which was really amazing. I love when um, friends take the time out of their schedules to come and spend time with me because it just makes, puts things into perspective and reminds me that like I'm not living in this bubble of, a re of being a resident because all I see is other residents and other doctors and it's nice when I have friends come visit me. In terms of life balance during this rotation, it's been difficult. I still cook. Um, it's still meal prep, um, I haven't let that go. Um, in terms of going to the gym, that has been very difficult. I have gone to the gym, but maybe two times out of the week. So I've been slacking. Well, I'm not slacking, but it's just, I just haven't been able to fit it in. Um, and I don't like working out at home. I thought that I was gonna do that um, during rotations like this, but working out at home for me just doesn't. It's not the same as being in the gym, so I try I try my best to, to go. I finally got my toes done this weekend. A little bit of self-care that I've been neglecting. I did my hair. Um, I do my own hair, which is very convenient. I did some things to take care of myself um, in terms of maintaining like my balance, but it's been a lot of just like work 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 like you work all day come home take a little bit of a break get back to work go to sleep that's kind of how a, the a string of days has been which wears on you a lot so i'm glad that i finally had this weekend completely off to just um, kind of refresh myself and remind myself that i'm a regular person and i'm not just um a resident that's like confined into this in this bubble um where it's just like hospital home hospital home um so yeah, uh, two more weeks of OBGYN. Um, I will have a little bit more free time um, this week and next weekend I'm um, kind of off as well. So, so you can expect more content from me in the future, which is great because I'll have time to breathe. <laughs> so thank you guys for tagging along with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and share uh, my channel with other people who you feel like might enjoy um, following along life in residency as well. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Have a wonderful week. I know you're gonna kill it in whatever it is that you're doing. Bye.